Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden and the first thing that we're gonna complete in this episode is rank 9 with Nanako. If I've done everything correctly, today we should advance Nanako's social link to rank 9. So let's get to it. Um, you know the photo you found before? I gave it back to Dad. He looked happy and smiled at me. Big bro, I love my dad. <laughs> I think so too. Dad didn't forget about how we used to pick flowers at Samagawa. He smiled at me and said, you remember too? Dad loves mom. I feel sorry for him losing someone he loves. That's what Dad said, too. He said, she's inside of me. I don't really get what he said, but I know what he meant. Glad to be Dad's daughter. It's your turn to talk. I don't know about you, but I always look forward to Nanako's nighttime discussions, you know? It's a, good, it's a good way to end off the day. Before we have to come back to school, yeah. And the first thing that happened, <laughs> I don't know about you, but this happens to me a lot. When I would go to school, I would just like hear like students gossiping loudly, and there's a rumor that one of the classes hasn't decided what they're going to do yet for the festival. Yeah, that's pretty common. They'll argue about it forever, but in the end, they'll end up choosing something <laughs> lame like a rest area. Yeah, that would be kind of lame, and only one more week left to get ready! I need to get fired up! Okay, yeah, someone is really, really uh, excited about the festival, man. Jeez. Well, as you all know, next week is the Culture Festival. And as you also know, we still haven't decided what our class is going to do for it. <sighs> you guys don't care, do you? We are going to decide based on the suggestions we have so far. Please vote for one of them. Here they are. Break area, video room, and study room. Wow, sounds like whatever we pick, we don't need to put any effort into it. Talk about lack of motivation. Yeah, but the easier the better, right? Oh, one more. Um, group date cafe. Hey, who put in a suggestion like that? Was it you, Chie? Yeah, right. Why would I do such a thing? What's a group date cafe? Who knows? But I doubt anyone will vote for it. Our class is actually a pretty serious bunch. Yeah, it's just a joke idea. You gotta have one weird one mixed in, you know? Ah, figures! We'll be passing around the vote sheet. Just circle one of the suggestions. All right, time to count the votes. Uh, the first vote is Group Date Cafe. Second vote, group date cafe. Huh? Seriously? 
Third vote, video room. Fourth vote, group date cafe. Group date cafe, group date cafe, study room, group date cafe. First place? What are we gonna do? Don't ask me, this is your fault. I do wonder though, do all those people who voted for it realize they have to run it themselves? I've never been on a group date before, so I was a little curious. What the? You voted for it? Yeah, I thought it would be sad if no one voted for it. But Yosuke's the one behind it! Hey, it wasn't just me. It came in first place. The public agrees. Well, since the majority rules, we'll be doing the group date cafe. But what does that even mean? Is it like speed dating? Can we really pull this off? You'd all better pitch in on this. Actually, would the teachers be okay with this? Dude, how could Kashiwagi say no? Miss Kashiwagi's busy getting ready for those two notorious pageants. That's why she's leaving it up to us students to decide what to do. Yeah, right. She just dumped it in our laps because she didn't want to bother. Group date cafe? Are we going to get any customers with this? Seriously, what is a group date cafe? I voted for it and I didn't even know. Oh my gosh. How the heck's this going to turn out? A group date cafe! Well, I guess I can't complain about too much, seeing as how I voted for it and all, but personally, I've never been on a group date. Just sounds kind of... strange, for lack of a better term. Just kind of awkward. And speaking of strange things, we also did receive a card for Naoto, who's apparently studying this bulletin board rather intently, and... Oh, Yusan. Um... Thank you for saving me. No problem. I apologize, but I have something I want to think about. Uh, okay, she's really absorbed in thought. It seems that you need some sort of opportunity to get through to her. Maybe this card that the mysterious man in black gave to us would be just a thing to start the social link. And what's this? He said I'd understand. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> now it's Owen. Excuse me, but... Could you please accompany me for a brief period? I'd like to hear more about what transpired when you were given this card. Please, it won't take long. Um, sure thing, now so Anything to help, I guess? I mean, <laughs> he, just, he just gave it to me! I, I don't know, I, I don't even know why I took it! I, I... Oh, oh, apparently it's not that severe, and I apologize. I wanted to talk someplace quiet. Oh, okay. What sort of person gave this to you? Hmm, well, he was all those things, but he, somebody that knew that I knew you, if that makes any sense. I see. Which means it's possible that he's been snooping around, gathering information on you or me, or even the case. Oh gosh, that is a possibility. The man must also know you well. He wouldn't have entrusted the delivery to anyone he didn't know. Oh, but I've never seen him a day in my life. Or have I? But this is a small town. You could easily have looked up my address. Hmm, that is true. Why go to the trouble of giving the letter to you? Intriguing. That's putting it lightly, and... <laughs> is he involved with this case? Or another case altogether? If it's me he's after, he could be anyone. Hmm. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll keep the card. I'm alright, I'm not too attached to it. The man is most likely still here in Inaba. I cannot drag you further into this. Well, I'm I'm flattered you're worried about me now, so, but honestly, I'm more worried about you. Huh? Uh, did I say something amiss? Uh, well, it's good to know you're worried about me, but... Hmm. I apologize. I seem to have a tin ear for other people's feelings. Yosuke-san told me so before. Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm worried about you, and I'll look into this card and report my findings to you. So, don't worry about me. 
Uh, I mean, you can say that, but it's not gonna stop me from worrying. <laughs> and as our leader, I know that you have a lot on your shoulders, so... Well, that is true, but... I mean... You're an important asset to the team now, so I can't let you go that easily. <laughs> to keep a diligent watch! No, not really, but yeah! Now it's a lot more different than we saw her originally. She used to be this cool, calm, and collective detective, but hey, no one's perfect. As we establish the Fortune Arcana, one of the last social links in the game that we have yet to start, and now we've started it. Yeah, don't really know what I'm going with this, but now it's Oshiragane. Social link has been established. We can now create way better personas of the Fortune Arcana, which it's pretty much my favorite arcana, which is kind of a bummer how we get it so late into the game, but oh uh, well. And because we started the social link, now it's so we'll get some combat abilities, and while we are here, why don't we chat a little? Uh, sure. Ah, uh, yes. There was something I wanted to ask you. Uh, go for it, Shall I we go home now? guess. And yeah, we talked a lot about the murders. Not much else other than that, strictly business with Naoto, it seems, but hey, that's fine. And yes. What is the mystery behind this card, and does it tie in to the overlying mystery of the- Who the dump knows, but I'm gonna get interrogate Naoto, Nanako, for information? Yeah. Not really, we're just gonna do a social link event. So, so Nanako, uh, do you know anything about the white card? No? Okay, I thought so, goodbye. Just, just one of my A plus segues, and today, no school, which means we get to stay indoors and build gun. No, we don't get to do that. Unfortunately, we have more social links to do as badly as I'd like to just sit in my room playing with action figures. We have to talk to girl. No, under you say. I unfortunately have to spend the day with someone a, a lot older than you. You know, usually that isn't a problem. But yeah, we're gonna spend the day with Hasano, but before I do that, I needed to pee really badly. Okay, moving on! <laughs> Less players have to pee too, you know? Okay, not really, but yes. We are gonna spend the day with Hasano, and that's gonna obviously be very, very sad. But last time she was talking about, you know, she couldn't find the letters that her husband gave her and that she misplaced them. What's up with that? Well, we're gonna find out very shortly as we speak to Hasano. Hey, hey, what you doing? Sitting near the riverbed and I wonder where's my husband letters are. Whatever happened to them? When he died, I cleared out the storehouse. Did I sell them along with everything else? Hmm, something tells me indeed she did. And who buys useless crap in this game? Um. Well, you know the guy. Surely really have to spell it out to you, but it is old man. Da 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 we da 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 but while we're getting the letters to do Hasano's social link, we're also going to need a persona for tomorrow. A fortune persona. And in case you've not gotten one through Shuffle Time, this is how you can make a relatively low, I think it's the lowest level possible, uh, persona. So you can level up Nawato's social link. We'll be needing Izanagi, the slime. Yes, he's back and he's stronger than... No, not really. And also the Sandman... Were you like the lowest level personas if you think of it? Not absolutely the lowest level, but you know what I'm getting at. And we're gonna combine all three of these to create a fortune persona. The first fortune persona you can fuse for Tuna of the Fortune Arcana. I always say Fortuna. Like I I think it's supposed to be like pronounced Fortuna. But I always say Fortuna. Just that compound word. So this persona is primarily used to make tuna. With her wheel and her chest. Okay. Probably one of my favorite Kanako designs. Just so iconic. I like it a lot. And I like how her hand glows when she's summoned or doesn't attack. It's cool. And yes, this persona, not necessarily combat ready by any regards, but it's gonna help us accelerate Naoto's growth exponentially. 
So make sure you grab it. And chances are you probably have a fortune arcana persona just lying around. And now we need to go to the antique shop. And I swear to gosh, Didara, if you ask... What is what this man in the trout? Technically at this point we could give him the trout. But I just keep wanting to say you know, it gives you a weapon for Yosuke, by the way. And yeah, have you seen uh, the letters? Old man. And I just bought a bunch of antiques from an estate sale by a woman who lost her husband. Mm, I found those strange letters in it with all the stuff I bought. The love letters. Don't you think it's strange? Throwing them away is a bit cold. And returning them to their owner is also kind of an admission of reading them. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Hmm, I, I could take those off your hands. Yeah, let's do that. So now that we have acquired Hasano's love letters, we can return them to her and resume her social link. Sort of like a mini puzzle with her like social link. I don't really know why it's in the game necessarily. You basically have to go to each shop or talk to everybody until you find it. But, you know, I guess that's kind of good in a sense. Gets you to talk to the locals and... Hi, Asano. Yes. I found the letters. My... You chan. Those are... Yeah, the letters. I already said that. Here you go. My... The letters from my husband? How? I asked the guy. Wasn't that tough? Just saying. My, my. He must have him been when he came to collect the contents of the storehouse. So that's where I kept the letters. Hmm. Thank you, Yu Chan. From the bottom of this old woman's heart, I'm so happy. Well, I'm glad, Hisano. Hmm. We did a very good thing, I think, and. But I'm going to burn them. Oh! I'll go get some matches. Well, uh, hmm. Maybe we didn't do a good thing. Why would she burn the love letters from her husband? What the heck? Hmm. Well, normally I wouldn't read them out of the privacy of Hasano, but hmm. For the sake of this being a let's play, we should probably read the letters. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Why not? <clears throat> Let's see. The wooden well frame that was once shorter than it. I have outgrown it in the time that we have been kept apart. Okay. Go on. Um, that's all the postcard says. Okay. Now the postcard has a short composition on it. I want to see you so much. How much sky, earth, and water do my words have to run through, on and over, to reach you, my dear Hisa-san. How? I wish I was this postcard. Uh, oh, well, you're about to get burned, so don't wish that too. Oh, she's back and... Isn't that just so sad? He had no idea that he was being deceived. What? I'm sure he never imagined that the Hisa-san he loved would someday wish to see him dead. What? D did you kill your husband? Th what are you talking about? Hmm. He was a kind, honest, and loyal man. He fell ill and became bedridden. I had to work to support our family. He would always apologize to me for failing as a husband. When he did, he would smile so sadly. Oh my gosh. His illness worsened, and he must have been scared. He began to take his fear and frustration out on me. The man who had been so kind, but that didn't bother me at all. I had agreed that I would work and take care of him the day we were wed, in sickness and in health. Damn. But he forgot. He forgot who I was 
and he forgot all about me. I couldn't bring myself to love him. I couldn't forgive the way he would look at me, with such confusion in his eyes. And when I cried, he would wipe my tears away, like the man he had been all those years ago. I couldn't forgive that. I couldn't bear that. That stranger in his body, stealing his mind. Day after day, he slept. I tried to kill him. My gosh, but I couldn't. While I was standing over him, he looked up and he smiled at me. The same smile he gave me when I was a girl. And in the same voice he would use to tell me he loved me, he asked, Who are you, ma'am? That was three years ago. After that day, he would forget who I was every morning, every day. He would ask me, who are you? Oh my gosh, must have been terrible. And every day I would answer, who am I today? I was a total stranger to him until the very end. He was being cared by a stranger as he passed away. That was his punishment, punishment for forgetting me. My goodness. <sighs> what are you even gonna say to that, man? God, that's terrible. I was relieved. Y you were? Before I could feel anything else, I felt relief. Relief that it was finally over for both of us. Man. It was then that I realized that I had been wanting him to die. And because I wished it, he left this world and went to the gods. I am death itself. Man. And here I thought that, you know, she was just a recent widow. I didn't think that, you know, they were going through all that. God. Man, it's really, really scary to think that that could happen to someone you love, and please throw the letters away. I cannot bear to see them anymore. I don't want to touch them anymore. I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's no problem, Hasano. I'll get rid of them. Dang. <sighs> what do you even say to that, man? Gosh, that's definitely one of the more depressing moments in Welcome back. the social link. And God, what, do you, what do you even say, man, to think that that would be happening? Goodness, it's terrible. Anyways, today we're going to go back to our room and continue folding our envelopes. Maybe it'll help us forget what we heard today about Hasano. Oh man, it's definitely a sad social link event, but t but life must go on. You just live in the past, you know. And I heard from Risa san that it seems nearly everyone earned their scooter licenses over the summer. You may be quite interested to know that I acquired mine around the same time. Quite a coincidence, isn't it? Uh, yeah, literally, is a coincidence. Kind of a thing. And yeah, let's go together somewhere now, Otto. And uh, yes, I wouldn't mind doing so. Should the opportunity arise, I'm confident in my cycling skills, so I doubt any troubles will arise on a route. Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> I'm glad you uh, know how to ride. God damn, the guy! You can't no, I, I did not realize that the same individual goes by every single time until a recent playthrough, and it's literally killing me that he does that. It's like, yeah, I gotta go over the class, and yeah, we'll, we'll get our test results in. Cool. We know already that we did 
perfect on the exam, but yeah, we got to show this again. I recommend you do this too because it's going to help you when leveling up Yosuke's social link. And whoa, you're a genius, dude. That's awesome. It's like I got the highest grade myself. And yes, even though we have completely maxed out Chie in the Sport Athletes Club, you still need to get the top grade on the exams. And it's also kind of, you know, you have an incentive to doing so, even if you were complete with all of those social links. Because today, if we go visit our homeroom teacher, we're going to get a very special costume. And I'm looking forward to this costume because, well, as you know, I love Persona 3 a whole heck of a lot. Heck, I love every Persona game, mostly for different reasons. And where the heck? No, it's the nurse office. She would be right over here next to the faculty office, Miss Kashiwagi. How's it going in you, Kuhn? I saw the results of your midterms. I'm so proud of you. Ooh, here's something nice as a reward. We get the male Gekkon outfits. Cool. There was a little slip up, and I only had the male version. Why would you be giving me a high school uniform for a girl, Miss Kashiwagi? I understand I did well on the exams and all, but it's still kind of weird. And hey, now it's so. How's it going? You find anything new about the case, and do you have time to spare with me today? I absolutely do, now let's hope. Since we have the matching arcana, we should be... We're not going to have any problems. Problems? Problems. <laughs> Leveling up now let's hope. And gosh, I don't know why I'm so nervous. It's just now let's hope after all. And hey, still looking at that index card that was given to you. I see now a lot has changed, and as you can see, nothing is written on it. It's just a plain white card. Yeah, but it does feel a bit stiff, given its thinness. O okay, without any indication of its contents, however. I have no idea who sent it. Hmm, I'd chalk it up as a prank. Mm, that doesn't sound like you, though, to just end it like that. <laughs> That's not really fun, either. One would expect there to be more. <laughs> yeah, actually... Can't imagine what the rest of the social link will be like if there isn't. And oh, you've got a cell phone call? Oh, uh, excuse me. Okay, no problem, and yes, it's me. Uh, Yakushi-san. What's the matter? Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. A thief? In the Shirogani estate? Yes, yes, I see. I don't keep anything in that room that I miss terribly. Hmm... You've already reported this to the police, I assume. Then I'll leave the rest to you. As long as Grandpa's safe, it doesn't matter. I can't take my eyes off this case yet. Oh god, what what happened now, Alto? Sounds like a break-in. Uh wonder if it has anything to do with this card and Hmm. Yeah, a thief in a sluice house. Now that's definitely interesting. <laughs> There's no need for you to be so skeptical. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, and seems a little embarrassed by that. That was from Yakushiji, my grandpa's secretary. It appears someone has broken into the Shiragane estate. My room was targeted, and he wanted to know if I could think of anything in particular the thief might have been after. Several items pertaining to me were also stolen from grandpa's inventory. Hmm. I don't know about those. My belongings aren't of any particular value, so... Well, I mean... What, does this have something to do with the card? Yes. That's precisely what I was thinking. Hmm. It seems someone is targeting Naoto. Regardless, you don't have to worry about me. Ah, uh, you keep saying that, but now so you have to assess the situation and realize you're in a tiny bit of danger, and I'm... Not sure how to react to your worry about me. Uh, <laughs> um, is this a new thing for you? Having other people concerned for your well-being seems a bit odd. Then again, Naoto is kind of a oddball if you think about it. <laughs> but hey, that's why we like her so much. She's different in a good way. And holy dump! Naoto's already getting new abilities onto her persona. Great. I'll see you again. That'll come in handy next time we have to go into the, well, TV world. And yeah, what is going on exactly? First, a weird man gives her a card. Or actually tells me to give her a card. And then a break-in. 
Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait for time to pass. And speaking of which, this is going to be the last social link we do today. I feel like leaving today's episode on a high note. And, well, thanks for the bead ring. That's also a really great accessory, <laughs> Nanako. But, yes, this is going to be the last social link we do in this episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching. But today we will end Nanako social link with rank 10. I got a phone call from Dad. He's coming home. Let's make dinner together, big bro. There's a lot to do today. I bought a bunch of dishes, pickled radish, and veggies at Juness. Big bro, can you make a salad? Right then, you can be the salad maker. And I'll be the, um, the egg sunny side up maker. We have to start eating our vegetables from now on. A well-balanced diet is important. My teacher said that families help each other. After mom died, dad and me have both been lonely, but... But I have dad, and I need to do my best so dad doesn't feel lonely either. You're my family too, so let's work hard together. this to you. Dad made extra copies. You're family too, so you should have a family picture. Let's get a picture of you and me and Dad all together one day. <laughs> I love you, big bro. Your dad will be home before we're done. I'm home. Dad, welcome home. Y yeah. <laughs> I made dinner with Big Fro today. We made salad and um um a bunch of other stuff. I see. Good work, Nanako. She's really cheerful. I'm sure it's thanks to you. Dad! Big bro! Hurry! Hurry! I got it! I got it! Let's eat then! 